kids. Welcome to another episode of Destination Kids Online. We're so glad that you joined us today. Now, I don't know about you, but I love stories. I love stories so much because they're, they're in everything. Stories are in books, they're in movies, they're in absolutely everything. If you wanna tell somebody something that happened, you're gonna tell them a story. I love sharing stories. Now, I wanna share a few stories with you and you might be able to tell me what stories they are. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna explain them in a way that's kind of bad though. <laughs> You're not, you might not know what it is, but I promise you, these are some great stories. So, this first story I wanna tell you about is about this guy who teams up with himself to beat up and stop a bald guy. Hmm, wonder what that movie is. It's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> if you've seen that movie, Spider-Man teams up with other Spider-Men in order to stop um, the big bald guy whose name is the Kingpin. And yeah, it's a fantastic story. How about another one for you? So, a local police officer starts to become friends with a guy from outer space. Hmm. Do you know what that story is? It's Toy Story. <laughs> Toy Story, we have Woody and Buzz. Buzz Lightyear is a spaceman and Woody is a sheriff. <laughs> How about two more for you? A kid uses an inflatable toy to fight bad guys. Hmm. You know what that story is? It's Big Hero 6, <laughs> Big Hero 6. That's another really great story. We have Hero and he comes in with Baymax and gets together a team in order to fight a bad guy who's trying to use Hero's technology to do some pretty bad stuff. Oh, how about one more for you? So two workers in a big factory they do something that causes a panic in the whole city. Everybody starts going crazy. Hmm. But then they use the same reason everybody's going crazy in order to solve a big energy crisis. Hmm. Do you know what that story might be? It's Monsters, Inc. <laughs> Those are all some fantastic stories, but when I tell them like that, you might not know what it is or what it's all about. <laughs> so in the same way, our story that we're going to be telling today is right from the Bible. Now, go ahead and tune into it so you guys can hear what God's Word has to say for us today. <laughs> hey there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. Roll that intro. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Pro TV. So you're going to tell me what's up? <laughs> oh, Andy, I wish I could. What? I wish I could tell you what I know. Oh man, this is crazy. Well, now you have to tell me. I can't, I can't, I want to, but I can't. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Grow TV today because you're being all wacky because of a little secret. Really? Oh man, I want to share. Maybe I can tell you, just not everyone else. Okay, that'll work. All right, come here. What? What? I can't hear you. All right, I'll tell you again. Your arms can turn red? Yep. What are you talking about? It's like a superpower. I can make my arms turn red, and sometimes my legs and face. How? Well, it's kind of cool. All I have to do is go stand in the sun for a bit, then bam, my arms turn red. Carl, that's not a superpower. Um, yes it is. Can your arms do that? Yes, you know why? It's called a sunburn, and it's not good for you, man. Really? Yes, really. I cannot believe you don't know this. You need to wear sunscreen. <laughs> wow, I learn something new every day, I guess. Why did it take you so long to tell me that? I don't know. I was excited because I thought I had a superpower, but then I got scared because I thought I might get in trouble if I told you. 
Why in the world would you get in trouble? Well, that's what happened in the Bible. Funny, I don't remember a story in the Bible about someone getting sunburned and mistaking it for a superpower. No, I mean telling the truth. You see, I read a story in the Bible about a couple of people who got in trouble for telling the truth. Really? Which story? Oh, you mean Acts 4. Oh, hey, Jada. Were you here the whole time? I sure was. And Andy's right, Carl. Wear sunscreen. Thanks, Jada. So talk to us about Acts 4. Okay, so that's the story where Peter and John were teaching people about Jesus, sharing the whole truth of the scriptures and how much God loves us. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that story. Wasn't like talking about Jesus like a huge no-no back then? Yeah, that's why right in the middle of their teaching, they got arrested and thrown into jail. That must have been scary. I hope I never go to jail. You never know. I bet I know a couple of police officers who would take you to jail. The fashion police, because <laughs> you dress funny. High five. I dress funny? Moving on. Soon after they were arrested, the leaders, high priest, and captain met and brought Peter and John to be judged. Yeah, they got in trouble for telling the truth. They asked Peter and John about why they did what they did and who they did it for. Yeah, and they told them that they did it for God. They even saw a man who couldn't walk miraculously begin walking, all because God performed a miracle all through their teaching. That must have been really difficult for the leaders. I mean, how can they say God isn't real or the teaching isn't important if they have proof right in front of them? Exactly. All the leaders did was warn Peter and John not to teach or tell the truth of God's word anymore. Really? What did they say back? They said they would rather listen to God than listen to other people when it comes to teaching others about Jesus. Good for them. I know they made it seem simple, but that couldn't have been easy. Not at all, but Peter and John were determined to keep following Jesus and telling others about Jesus no matter what. Well, now that we talked about it all together, I'm starting to think that maybe telling the truth and sharing what you've learned isn't a bad thing, even if you get in trouble for it. Yeah, I would agree with that. I don't know if I'm tough enough to go to jail for it, though. That would be hard. But sharing the good news about God would be worth it, though, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to lie. I would be scared. <laughs> don't worry, Andy. I'll be there for you, bud. I love you, man. I love you, too. A Andy, Carl, guys, the thing is we may never have to go to jail for telling others about Jesus. For real? Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. But no matter what, we are called to share what God's taught us just like Peter and John. I agree with that 100%. I love knowing we can share God's story. <sighs> All right, that's it. You're going to jail. What, why? Well, cause you did something so good, it's criminal. What, w what, did, what did I do? Well, Andy, my sweet little boy, <laughs> you just said our big idea. Today's big idea is we can share God's story. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, Three. three. We, we can, can share, share God's, God's story. story. <laughs> all right. We yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. You can. Andy can. Jada can. We all can. We can, can, can. And we can. Wow, I love today's lesson. I can't wait to go out and share God's story. Me too. I also can't wait to share with you this secret. What secret? I don't know who pinched you. No one pinched me. Bah. Ow. What? <laughs> it was me. I, I, I pinched you. Have a good week, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Wow, what a cool Bible story for today. We can share God's story. Now, Paul and Peter, they were taken aback by people telling them they couldn't share God's story. They were like, this story is too good to not share, right? When Jesus came down to earth and he died for our sins, he died to take our place on the cross. That story is too good to keep secret. We can share God's story. We can share what God has done. And thankfully, we may not ever have to go to prison like Peter did for sharing God's story, but we can all tell someone about what God has done. When we accept Jesus into our heart and he changes us and makes us a new person, then what we can do when we tell other people about what Jesus has done in us, then we inspire them to want to that same change as well. So I hope you guys today remember our big idea. You can share God's story. Also remember our memory verse, which is Psalms 119, 105. Your word is a lamp 
to my feet, a light to my path. That's Psalms 119, 105. I'm so excited for you guys to be going out there and sharing God's story. Bye.